Hey, what's up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name's Dylan Taylor. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a bandsaw blade on your bandsaw so that you can use your bandsaw. Now this is the second video in a pair of videos that I've made. Uh, the other one was how to install urethane tires on your bandsaw wheel. So I'm just going to show you how to install a blade. First thing that you're going to need to do, and I've already done this, is take off the panels however they're attached to your bandsaw. For mine, it is four of these uh, little thumb screws, I guess you could call them. You need to get access to this wheel, this wheel. You also will need to take off any guards like this one right here on the side and any fences like this one that I have here that can come off. You also wanna take your throat plate out and sometimes this one gets stuck. So just give it a little tap from the bottom. And then lastly, uh, the last bit that is going to inhibit us from putting the blade on is this piece right here. And your bandsaw might not have one, but this is just a filler piece so that the table doesn't flex, I believe. Uh, we're gonna take that out and I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers to get that out. Wiggle back and forth and it comes out. I actually already had this pin out since it's been in storage to take off the original blade. Very hard to get out of there originally. I had to use some liquid wrench penetrating oil. This stuff works great. I'll put an Amazon link in the description if you would like some of this. This piece also needs to come off. I guess I forgot to mention that one. Uh, it's just loosen two bolts and it should slide right out. So now comes the bandsaw blade itself. So this is something you need to be careful when opening. Well, it's twisted around itself. You might want to wear safety glasses. Throw it on the floor because you don't want it to cut you. And that hurt no one. Now, we're going to want to make sure that we put this on the right way. And the way I'm looking at it, the teeth go the wrong way. So what we're going to need to do is twist this around. There we go so that the teeth now go down on the right side. Now I've already lowered this down so that I could take the other blade off, but you're gonna to want to do that. You're gonna to want to whatever screw or adjustment you have on the back side to lower the top wheel down so that you can get this blade to go around it. Now we're gonna start off by feeding it through the table, then lining it up with our bearings on the top and the bottom. Okay, we've got it so that it's on there. Now we're just gonna raise that back up at the back by tightening this screw. Okay, and now I'm just spinning it around to see if it's tracking right and it is in the middle. Okay, so we are now ready to attach all of the things that we've taken off to get the blade to go on there. Plugged in. That cuts beautifully. I am very impressed. That, my friends, is going to be the end of this video. I hope that you guys learned something new. Maybe um, you're excited to see what I create with this. And if you are, I encourage you to subscribe. Click the link down below, the subscribe button. But a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You guys are what is allowing me to keep creating videos the way that I do and just creating things that I love to make. So thank you. And a huge thank you to the top tier Patreon supporters, Randy, Robin Burt, and Mike Maxwell. You guys are extra special. If anyone else wants to help support me or the things that I create, Patreon is probably the best way to do so, and I encourage you to check that out. There will be a link up in the top right corner of the screen, as well as in the description as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.